G'day, my name is Jared Harrison. I'm the operations manager for Viberpile Southern. Viberpile have been specialising in piling in this country since 1966. In 2002, was bought out by Keller, making us part of the biggest group in the world of foundation contractors. Yeah, some of the projects we've worked on are South Wharf, Melbourne Convention Centre, Eureka Tower. We consider ourselves one of the leaders at continuous flight auger piles, where you corkscrew down and inject concrete under pressure as you're extracting, forming a concrete column, then the reinforcing cage is placed in afterwards, which leads us on to the project we've done in Wodonga with One Steel. Most of our work in this country is design and construct, as at the Wodonga project. We had a value there in the design, we worked with One Steel, and we came up with a, a robust solution in the end. Uh, my name's Sean Holt from Vibrapile. I'm uh, the Senior Projects Engineer, Southern Division. The Wodonga Rail Bypass was approximately five kilometres of dual rail line. Vibra Pile was commissioned for the piling works for 12 bridges crossing the, the local creeks, rivers and billabongs. We, we saw a, the CFA solution could benefit the project compared to the conforming scheme. It was a lot quicker construction technique and, and given the fluvial soils below the groundwater table, it alleviated a lot of uh, construction headaches and also offered some environmental benefits to the conforming scheme. Being in Wodonga, it offered some challenges with logistics and we ended up joining up with One Steel to produce the prefabricated cages. Uh, we saw during our negotiations with One Steel that we needed their size and, and capabilities to actually meet construction requirements which were rather demanding. There was about 320 piles ranging between 900 to 1200 CFA. Typical depths were 12 to 15 metres uh, with the deepest pile depth being 23 metres. The cages had to be pre-assembled in Melbourne and trucked up to Wodonga. A typical cage detail was 24 and 40 longitudinal reinforcement. The 15 metre bars, they had to be threaded at the top to couple into the crosshead. With N16 spiral at uh, various pitch, very few steel suppliers could actually roll the N16, which was another strength that one steel offered. The final construction technique evolved where we could offer prefabricated column reinforcement as part of the pile reinforcement, and we installed those into the piles, setting to the column tolerances, which is a lot more stringent than your standard pile tolerances. We were demanding a better performance than the Australian standards would and, and what you'd come to expect on most piling projects. That offered a huge cost saving and also time saving to the client, eliminating quite a lot of follow on trades and sped up the, the construction program quite significantly. The cages themselves had, had tight tolerances. The OD was plus zero, minus five millimetres and, and to meet the cover, given the pile constraints, it was very tight and very demanding, which I still did excellently. Uh, I was on site checking the cages and nearly everyone was past perfect uh, first time. Uh, if they were prefabricated on site, one, we would have never got the quality, and two, we would have never got the production. Uh, I understand that One Steel was running 24 hour shifts and throwing quite a lot of resources behind so we could achieve those productions, of which a, your typical supplier might not have had the, those resources, and I believe it also aided the project in, in getting ahead of their construction program. They're one of the top, if not our, our top supplier, quality and, and also speed of construction, and that's strengthening both the supply from one seal but also what we can offer the client and further developing solutions and going forward to uh, future projects.